Spiteful Mermaid of Pyramid Lake The Spiteful Mermaid of Pyramid Lake is an entity that inhabits Pyramid Lake in Reno, Nevada. The reason that it's called Pyramid Lake is because of this massive tufa in the middle of the lake that resembles a pyramid. According to a tribe around the area, there's a legend of a man who fell in love with a mermaid living in the lake. The tribe opposed the idea of him being with a mermaid, forcing her to stay in the water. This infuriated the entity, causing her to curse the lake. Ever since then, tragic drownings and other mysterious events have occurred in the area. Goody Cole The year is 1680 in Hampton, New Hampshire. Goody Cole is in prison, convicted of practicing witchcraft, dying alone. She's eventually buried, but she doesn't remain in the ground for long, as her body is taken out of the grave and exercised by the people in the town, who eventually rammed a stake through her heart, causing for her spirit to be released, tormenting those who live in the town. Ghost Boy of Clinton Road Clinton Road is a 10 mile stretch of road in New Jersey. The area is pretty desolate and is mainly surrounded by forest, with only one house appearing in the entrance of the road, nicknamed the Ghost House. Though this isn't the only creepy thing about it, as there's a bridge where a supposed ghost inhabits, pushing people into the water below. Legend says that he does this because he was run over, and believes that he saves people by pushing them away from the road. La Mala Hora La Mala Hora translates to the evil hour in English. The entity is said to be an evil spirit or demon that originates from Mexico and or New Mexico, depending on the source. She is said to wander in empty roads at night, terrorizing individuals who travel alone, shapeshifting into various forms, lurking in the darkness of crossroads, waiting for her next victim. Some say that she is more feared than Satan. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. Sometimes I get comments like, how do you edit your videos? Or how do I even get started with editing? Well, Skillshare offers classes in those things, with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. If you want to invest in yourself and your personal growth, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. I recently started taking the YouTube success script shoot and edit with Marquise Brownlee lessons, and I'm finding them really engaging and informative, refreshing me on some of the skills I already had and learning some new ones. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Cropsy. Cropsy is an escaped mental patient who lived in the Willowbrook Mental Institution. He is known for kidnapping children and killing them with his favorite weapon of choice, an axe. Andre Rand is said to be his other alias. He is an American convicted kidnapper of two children and suspected serial killer, currently serving 25 years to life in prison. In the mid-1960s, Rand worked as a custodian and physical therapist at Willowbrook State School. Oregon Bandage Man this one hits close to home, as I frequent the place this cryptid or ghost inhabits, located in Cannon Beach on the Oregon coast. The bandage man appears on the desolate roads leading to the beach. People always describe the creature as a man, covered in blood-stained bandages, emitting a nauseating odor. He's, or it's, rumored to be a logger who tragically passed due to a sawmill accident. Ghost Cities Ghost cities are described as cities that vaguely appear in the sky often reported in China. The cities appear to be floating in the sky when they suddenly disappear. Some claim that these are simply mirages, optical illusions due to the bad air pollution. Others believe that they are gateways to other worlds. Solar Plexus Clown Gliders Solar Plexus Clown Gliders, or SPCG, is the collective name given to the broad range of paranormal phenomenon attributed to a corruptive entity which inflicts weak and vulnerable people through the solar plexus chakra. Originally used by 80s New Age practitioners, the phenomena was linked to a horror-themed email forwardable in the late 90s, which claimed that simply reading or hearing the words solar plexus clown glider made one susceptible to infection. Others claimed that one became infected through viewing a set of spooky black and white images circulating online. Pigged Faced Woman Pig-faced woman is referring to a woman who lived in Manchester Square in London. She's said to be hideous and only got the facial deformity due to witchcraft, making it so that she was only beautiful to her husband and looked unappealing to everyone else. 
there were tons of reports like these all around England at the time. Black Flash. The Black Flash, also known as the Province Town Phantom and the Devil of the Dunes, was a bizarre entity encountered many times, mostly by children in Province, Massachusetts. Throughout 1939, he lurked around Province, jumping at people, laughing maniacally, and eluding pursuit with extreme agility and speed. Witnesses would report seeing the Black Flash in one location, and in a minute later, other reports would come in of sightings across town. Argentinian Gnome The Argentinian Gnome was an entity later revealed to have been a hoax, allegedly caught on film in a small town in Argentina in 2008. This creature was described as having terrorized a small town, but he was later revealed to be a hoax, since no one else in the village ever reported seeing anything of that kind. Cloud Giant Cloud Giants are giant clouds that are unique but blend in with other clouds. They are mostly seen during thunderstorms and other severe weather events. Moving at high velocity, they can make entire homes and people disappear. Mad Gasser at Mattoon The Mad Gasser of Mattoon, described as a man wearing black, was the name given to a person or people believed to be responsible for a series of apparent gas attacks that occurred in Mattoon, Illinois. During the mid-1940s, more than two dozen separate cases of gassings were reported to police over the span of two weeks. In addition to many more reported sightings of the suspected assailants, the gassers' supposed victims reported smelling strange odors in their homes, which were soon followed by symptoms such as paralysis of the legs, coughing, nausea, and vomiting. Piranha Creature The piranha creature was a name given to a strange animal carcass that was discovered by firefighters on October 21st near the shore of the Piranha River. The creature appears to be slightly over a foot long from head to toe. It is frog-like in form, but also monkey-like, with five fingers on each hand. The creature has no discernible neck and has pale skin. Gnome of Gerona the gnome is an unidentified creature that lives in Hanora, Spain. Many experts believe that the creature was a fetus of a local endangered species. In 1989, the local news in Spain reported that the hunter captured the creature. He reported that he was traveling along a forest near Enola. The hunter said that he heard a very strange, high-pitched groan. When the hunter looked over to where the noise was located, he saw the small entity. It began to run away from him. The hunter managed to capture the creature by holding it under a blanket. The creature refused to eat the food the hunter gave it. It soon died after its capture. Highway Beast The Highway Beast was a name given to a strange carcass found on the side of a highway in Alexandria, Minnesota on August 1, 2011. The carcass is white with a small lower body and a thick upper body with an almost non-existent neck. The muzzle is dog-like in structure, and the creature's front paws possess five clawed toes, each. Kovashi Creature The Kovashi Creature was a strange carcass found on the banks of the River Kovashi in the town of Sosanovi Bor in western Russia. I'm sorry if I butchered that. The woman named Tamara told reporters that she found the creature on the Kovashi River, which flows into the Gulf of Finland. Diogen the Diogen, also known as the Diogen or the Eyes, is an evil spirit said to haunt the Sonayan forest in Belgium, often seen in fog form and followed by smaller shadow figures. The story, which is based on a series of true events, has become more of a campfire tale or urban legend, with virtually no sightings in recent years. Brazilian Werewolf The Brazilian Werewolf is a humanoid cryptid reportedly caught by a security camera in Ceilandia, a city in East Central Brazil. Sea Monk The Sea Monk, or sometimes Monkfish, is a type of merperson and was the name given to a sea animal found on the eastern coast of the Danish island of Zealand, almost certainly in 1546. It was described as a fish that looked suspiciously like a monk. It was mentioned and pictured in the fourth volume of Conrad Jensner's famous historian Animilium. It supposedly died after three days of capture. Crawfordsville Monster The Crawfordsville Monster is an atmospheric beast that was sighted over Crawfordsville, Indiana in 1891. The cryptid, as told by witnesses, suggests an otherworldly creature. Accounts generally agree that it was a larger rectangular creature, possibly eel-like in appearance, with several undiluting fins down the sides of its body. 
Shug Monkey. The Shug Monkey is a ghost-like, hairy humanoid sighted in the Rendlesham Forest in Britain. It appeared as an intermediate figure between canine and monkey. It is linked with British werewolf legends because of its canine features. It leaves footprints that look like dog's tracks, except that they are gigantic and have flattened claws. Flying Rays On December 3, 2004 in Manson County, witnesses reported seeing a flying manta ray on a clear night. After a man and a woman departed Point Pleasant, the woman noticed a sudden movement in the sky over the Ohio River. It was a grayish, smooth wing shape. The shape swooped in a figure eight in front of the windshield and was gone in an instant. Another sighting was reported near Randolph County. A woman and her daughter saw a manta ray shaped creature that glided near their car as they were driving. Giant Penguin The giant penguin is a creature allegedly seen in Florida during the 1940s and is at least partly documented to have been a hoax. Later, a man came out claiming to be the person who left the fake footprints on the beach with a large iron foot replica. Sewer Humanoid The sewer humanoid was a strange humanoid cryptid that was caught on film in the sewer systems of the northwest side of England. The video was recorded in April of 2011. Moha Moha. The Moha Moha is a turtle like sea creature supposedly inhabiting the area of the Great Barrier Reef near Queensland, Australia. It is described as a long necked creature with a large dome shaped back and a huge fishtail. It was supposedly around 8 feet in width and 5 feet in height. Some claim that it was one of the last plesiosaurs from the Jurassic period, or at least a descendant from the animal. Giant Shrimp in the Laundry Room. This was a bizarre cryptid sighted in 1948 by a Birmingham, Washington native named Virginia Staples. The personal account was originally published in issue 6 of Strange Magazine. The entity was seen standing inside a large hole in the wall of the basement laundry room of Virginia's rundown apartment building. The witness described the creature as standing approximately 5 feet in height, exactly as tall as her.